Just a quick foreword to this video. Um, this method should only be used as a backup for your CO2 systems as uh, the risk of oxidization to the beer is fairly great. And uh, really, unless you're going to replace the CO2 in the system or drink the beer within two days, uh, you probably shouldn't use this method. Welcome back to Huchos. So in my endeavor to make things ever cheaper, uh, the most expensive, or well, one of the most expensive parts of brewing is uh, your gas cylinder and regulator. Uh, now there are other options in brewing, which includes these little CO2 cylinders whoop, and these chargers. Um, however, these are about a dollar a piece in Australia and that's the cheapest you can get them for. Some brew shops sell them for up to $5. So as a long-term solution, they're not exactly a viable cheap option, which is why I wanted to come up with a simple idea to be able to push the beer out of the keg once the keg had already gone through a secondary fermentation by adding sugar. Uh, this will also act as a backup uh, CO2 cylinder, or at least will allow you to push out the beer that's already in a brew in a keg if your CO2 cylinder has run out, like mine has on many occasions when I've had a leaky keg, which is really frustrating if the brew shop isn't open on the weekend and you've got some mates coming over. So, the things you'll need today you'll need a uh, shoulder sprayer or just a pressure sprayer with a pressure pump on top and you'll need a corny keg adapter uh, that fits the top of whatever keg system you've got and you'll obviously also need a full keg of beer um, and a way to deliver that beer from the keg to your glass. So to start with you're going to want to clean the pressure sprayer and then once you've cleaned it like I already have you just remove the handle from the pressure sprayer, cut off the little ball that's holding the handle in place, put that aside. Now this next step isn't a necessity, but uh, I like to put hose clamps on all of my uh, corny keg fittings. Um, it's best practice anyway, so uh, throw your hose clamp over first. Then just push your corny keg fitting onto the hose that comes with the spray bottle, like that. And then we can do up the hose clamp. Like so. So now we can test it out. Um, this keg is already pressurized, as you can see here. So what I'm going to do is depressurize it. So nothing's coming out. And now we'll attach our gas to the gas inlet. And now we can just pump air into the keg. All right, now I'll disconnect the sprayer from the keg and we can give it a go. I'm so happy that worked. Um, and, and that's how you can pressurize a keg without CO2. <laughs> like and subscribe for more, and I'll see you next time on Who Chose.